Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup. And whew, did we get some updates last week? A lot of the stuff that folks were waiting for, we're going to break it down. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dig in. Before we get into the updates, we do have one community item this week, and it was from Marco Russo looking at the differences between the formula engine and the storage engine from a VertiPak perspective. So the engine that drives both analysis services and Power BI. This is a little bit of a longer video and it's definitely more into the weeds on how things actually work, which are just personally some of the things that I love. I love internals. I love seeing how those things actually work. One thing I'd recommend also is if you're, if you're new to Power BI or you're new to DAX, bookmark this video and come back go definitely go watch it right now but then in a year from now or so come back and re-watch it after you've learned more about how this works things may click a little better for you i know with patrick and i we tend to do that also where we'll come back after a year or two after we've gained more experience and things just make so much more sense when we do that it's also a reason why i recommend reading the definitive guide to DAX, but then coming back afterwards and reading it again, you will pick up new things. So check out the links. Video is up above and down below somewhere. Definitely go spend your time. It's about a half hour. Well worth it. All right, Power BI Premium Per User is now available in public preview. This is something that a lot of folks were excited about, especially like the small to medium business range where Power BI Premium itself was maybe a little too much money to invest in, whereas Power BI Premium is hopefully going to be much more cost affordable for that, you know, employee count range. The nice thing right now is Power BI Premium per user will be free up until general availability. So this is just a trial that's going to be available for the public preview, but you could just keep going with that trial until general availability is available. It's available. Some folks already have premium per user right now because they signed up on the priority list to make sure that they got it at the announcement. You can still do that priority sign up, and the link is in the blog post, which is down in the description below. And then your tenant will be enabled 24 to 48 hours later. Otherwise, if you just want to ride it until it's actually fully deployed, that should happen early December-ish time frame. So just stay tuned for that. If you want it now, go get the priority list. If you want to wait, should have it in a few weeks. And then stay tuned for a video on actual Power BI Premium Per User that should be coming hopefully soon as well on the Guy in a Cube channel. Links as always down in the description below along with links to all the items in this week's roundup, including some bonus items. Go check it out. Along with Premium Per User, Premium Gen 2 is also now in public preview. This is just a radio dial. If you have Premium today, go to the admin portal, go to the capacity section of the admin portal, and in the actual capacity, you will see a switch to switch over to Premium Gen 2. It's as easy as that. I definitely recommend you check out the What is Premium documentation. It calls out some limitations. So be aware of that. Not all of the settings are available today in the admin portal. So one thing that's recommended like the XMLA endpoint, if you want read write capabilities, it's recommended you set that on the gen one settings and then switch it over to gen two. It should carry over. And then those settings will light up over time. You also see a link up above a video uh, card item where Patrick and I actually did a demo of performance from Gen 1 to Gen 2, so you can check that out as well. If you are using Premium, I'd love to know in the comments what your thoughts are of Gen 2, if you've tried it out, and you know uh, what was what was your findings? How, how did it go? I'd, I'm curious. Leave it in the comments below. We got the November 2020 roll-up for Power Query and Data Flows. And there were actually a lot of great stuff that was surrounding these two items over the last month. The biggest thing that hit that folks were noticing was the new diagram view. And this is specific to data flows today. I'm really hoping this comes to Power Query inside of Power BI Desktop, but it's just that way to visualize what those connections are in the transforms that you're going from the data source to the final item. So that is definitely something that is interesting and just makes it a little easier to understand and to manage. There were a lot of other updates for Power Query Online inside of Dataflow, so definitely check out the blog for that. 
from a data source perspective, another item that was really big that I know a lot of people were waiting for, specifically on the data flow side, was the ability to connect to Parquet files. So if you're not familiar, Parquet files are just a compressed file format that is pretty typical when working with a data lake. And so now Power BI data flows can actually read from those files, the compressed files that are in the data lake to do those transformations. So that is a welcomed update. If you're using Power BI data flows or you're interested in the updates to Power Query, check out the blog down below. We got the November 2020 update blog for the Power BI service, custom visuals, and Power BI desktop. That's right, there is a new Power BI desktop. Be sure you update to the November release. One thing to be aware of with the November release, there are a lot of folks that have been talking about like SSL errors when trying to sign in. I've also heard that in context of the gateway as well. There were some SSL items that came up. So I will have an additional link in the description below if you're encountering that, or you can just go to support.powerbi.com. There are awareness items out there for that. There's a updated cert path if your organization is restricting or the validation of those certs, there's some work that has to be done there. So be aware of that. The November desktop had a bunch of awesome updates as well. So one of the big things is the new AI visual anomaly detection. So you can enable this on your chart and then see what those are for a time series to find out what the anomalies are and gain more insights into that. There were some other preview features as well. So like an updated field list and the updated model view, these items are just enhancing those capabilities. The field list, I know Patrick was excited about this. When you're in the data view, you'll actually see like if an item is a measure or not inside of the field list before it didn't have any icon at all. So Patrick was really happy about that. And then the model view updates. I think some of these items are just laying the groundwork for the upcoming direct query over analysis services. So that composite model update, I know everyone's excited about that. And then another item that I was really excited about, I've been talking with some customers that have been waiting for it, is the visual zoom slider. That is a very welcomed update as well. On the service side, the new look is now GA, as well as reports and apps now have the ability to be certified or promoted to help with some of that governance or that single source of truth for people to identify that. So that is a welcomed update as well. Like I said, be sure to update to the latest version of Power BI Desktop. If you're getting it from the Microsoft Store, it should update automatically. Otherwise, you're going to need to go and download it and then install it. All right, I want to hand this over to you. What was your favorite item this last week? Maybe it was something I mentioned. Maybe it was something I didn't. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I want to hear it. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always, from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.